How much better is Golden State this year with that with Durant? They were actually better without him. I mean, stop. They are, and we saw that when Durant was out. What were they? Uh, Fifteen and four without Durant, mm -hmm. and they didn't miss a beat. Let's just be honest. Won seventy three games last year, set a uh, NBA record. Was it nice to add Kevin Durant? Yes. Do they really need it? They didn't need him last year. They just choked in that series against the Cavs. Do they need him this year? No, they don't need him this yep. year. Is it a nice addition? Sure it is, if you can get a guy to add to your team. But I'm now convinced more than ever that I think the Warriors duped Kevin Durant. And what I mean by that is they said, oh, this guy wants to join us. That's great. But it wasn't because they felt like they needed him. It was, let's get him out of the way. He was with OKC. OKC had that team down 3-1. to one. Mm -hmm. OKC wound up choking Skip in that series. But they were going to be a problem. And I know if they would have worked out their differences, Westbrook and Durant, and maybe added another piece, they would be in their way out west for time to come. Yes. And they looked at it and said, we can get him, add to our team, a star player, no doubt about it, but also make our path easier as time goes on. We're going to have a run that's not going to end at us winning one championship. We'll have a chance to win two or three or four or at least go to that many finals. And people will go back and remember that the Golden State Warriors were a dynasty or had a run. And obviously they need to win again and a couple times before we start talking like that. But they were on that path. That's why I think that uh, Kevin Durant might have wanted to go there. But I think the Warriors were smart in that they got him out of the way in OKC. And, and they don't need him to win a championship. You mentioned, you said uh, they didn't need him last year after going 73-9 and nine and being up 3-1 in the finals against the Cavaliers, and they choked. What happened was there was a green anaconda that was 6'9", <laughs> inches tall, weighing 255, that choked the life out of him, Skip. One king of Akron, born to Gloria James in 1984. Now he's an anaconda. He's an anaconda. And he squeezed him up. I squeezed him. Shannon, that was a choke job, and you know when it six, was. When six, nine, it, it was a choke job by Golden State more than it was LeBron James doing anything. It was a choke job. It's that LeBron was force-feeding them triple-doubles down their throat. Of course, the they same, couldn't... The same way. Oh, yeah, they had to get Kevin Durant, who just choked against them in the previous series. They're much better. Because let's see who they got. They got Kevin Durant, who is a former MVP, who is an all-NBA player. Mm -hmm. They give up Harrison Barnes. Now, what's one thing on a basketball court that Harrison Barnes can do better than Kevin Durant? I'll wait. Yeah, yeah, you, you'll be waiting here for I'll a long wait. time, for perpetuity. That's how long <laughs> you're going to be waiting. Kevin Durant can score the basketball, can rebound the basketball, assist the basketball. He can defend better than Harrison Barnes. 15 and, it, and 4 with Durant not in the game. Okay, okay. You I, hear, I, did you I, hear that? I get all that. Did you hear that? They didn't go 1-15 or went, something. They went 73-9 and nine without Kevin Durant. But when you get into a ball, when you get into a series, now it shortened their bench. I mean, because it, it took the depth away from their bench. But once you get into the playoffs, your bench is not as vital anyway because you're only playing seven, eight players. So here's the thing. The reason why their bench hasn't come into play this year is that they have such a big lead when they go sit down you can't make up that 20 points. They score in 40 points, 45 points in the first quarter. What you going to do with that, Rob? And you make it seem like, well, oh, he, they, wanted, they didn't really need him. That's what companies do. No, they, they don't really need him. And, and Steph Curry, for Steph Curry to even agree to it, tells me all I need to know. You're a star player. You won back-to-back -back MVPs. You just beat that guy who was up 3-1, to one, who didn't show up in Game 7, and you're telling me, that they go to Steph Curry and say, hey, we can get Kevin Durant. And that, what? Skip. What? We can get Kevin Durant? He said, we just beat Kevin Durant. Let me ask you a question. We don't need Skip. Kevin Durant. Do you actually think Nike needed Converse, but they bought them because they were competitive? And what do great, look what, look what established. That was a tax write-off. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> look, what, look what great tech companies do. Facebook, Apple, and Google. When they have competitors starting up, that might be some competition. What do they do, Skip? They buy them up mm -hmm. just to get them out the way. If, 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 and I just well, say the NBA that? The doesn't really work that way, but, but, but to your point, but that's, that's what happened. But that's what happened. Yeah. But, but, Skip, everybody keeps saying, oh, we love competition. 
No, you don't, because if you love competition, the Patriots say, you know what? We tired of winning all these division, tired of winning these division championships and these Super Bowls. We're gonna trade, we're gonna trade Tom Brady to the Jets because you know we want to make it fair. That makes no sense, Rob. If Kevin Durant wanted to go, he wanted to leave, he didn't want to play with Russ anymore. That's very obvious. He says, I want to go where they share the ball. That's where he went to. I don't like it, but hey, that's what he chose to do. Mm. And he, they are a much, much better team. And Skip, you know it too. I don't know it. I must say this about my friend Rob Parker, my longtime friend. The better he dresses, the smarter he gets. Oh, because, wow. Hey, I, I, I'm agreeing with every point you make. Now, again, Kevin Durant was duped, but he was happily duped because he was happy. No, to, he wanted to, to go yeah, there. Yeah, don't yeah, get yeah, me okay. wrong, Skip. I agree with that, that okay. he wanted to go there. But I am so with you, and I brought this point up before, but never addressed it head on. In fact, it was said Sabalish yesterday. It came up briefly. Mm -hmm. I was such a Steph Curry fan, especially before he was drafted, and I lost a, a measure of respect for him last year when he seemed to happily agree and embrace the fact that Kevin Durant was going to join a team that had won a record number of games, that that should you know that had already beaten him and should have won the finals. If Draymond doesn't get suspended and Bogut doesn't get hurt, we're having a different conversation. And I don't know what would have happened. If they had won last year's finals and Kevin Durant says, please take me, would they take him? I don't know. Because if Steph Curry is that guy, that guy says no. He just puts his foot down and says to management, no. I, he, he would boycott the move. He, he would say, I, I, he would make such a stink that they just couldn't do it that he would go to the top, to the ownership, and just say, I, I refuse to, I've, I've earned the right after two MVPs to say no to him because I don't want to have to sacrifice my game, which he's doing as we speak. Which is exactly what Durant. he's done. And here's the point about Steph Curry, and it hasn't manifested itself yet because Golden State is getting as many breaks in the first two rounds as the Cavaliers are because of the injuries I've just pointed out to Nurkic, Blake Griffin is out of the way, and now George Hill can't even play for Utah. So they've had two walkovers in the first two rounds, Portland, obviously now Utah. And so nothing, that this hasn't reared its head yet. They haven't been tested yet. But Steph Curry has had a hard time in the postseason. And the numbers, you, you don't back it up because you say, well, their numbers are pretty close. But the eye test, what if does you it watch. tell you? And I know he was banged up and had a knee issue last year. He has year. not played well. Hey, he just hasn't played well. And in game seven with the money on the table in his house, he came up pretty small, I thought. And finally, Kyrie said, that's enough of this, and he ended it. You going to mention LeBron? He was good. Dub? He was very good. He was very good. But let me ask you, uh, let's do this. Let's just say for the sake of this conversation, the OKC Thunder, Golden State wins 73 games last year. OKC beats them. They go to the final and lose to the Cavaliers. What does Kevin Durant do then? 